Disclaimer. The views expressed in this video do not necessarily reflect my own nor this platforms. It is up to the listeners to do their own research and use their own discernment. This is protected under fair use. Welcome to Knox Box, the box without limits, where we give you a 360 plus 360 perspective, bringing you the perfect balance of the physical and the spiritual. And I am Fotana. Divine Awakening. Shout out to anyone who is watching this. It is meant for you to be with me at this very moment in time. But yeah, this is not a, an original video, but definitely stay tuned. I had to take a break. I got people trying to unlive me, being gang stalked and dealing with a whole lot of stuff. Phones hacked and yeah. So I'll be back um, with the original content quite soon. But yeah, um, y'all already know how, how my channel is set up. I really do not have a niche. If it's something important that I think people need to know about, I'm just going to put it out there, give um, credit to original creators, and keep it moving. So shout out to The Real Kia and Niyoshi. This video is insane. It's going to showcase people um, who are being hypnotized and spirits are, are coming up and yeah past life regression and a whole bunch of stuff and like the last few minutes is like the most undeniable part because of one obvious factor i'm not gonna spoil it but yeah the rest of the, the video is only 25 minutes so let's keep it moving um when i do my original videos they're typically on the longer side like it takes a lot of effort the way i like to edit my videos with a lot of pictures and stuff as y'all can see but yeah it's gonna be worth it just stay tuned Peace. Of Louisville Klansman attached to black woman's heart. What is your name? Bob. How old are you, Bob? 46. And what happened to your body? How did you lose it? Checked a trailer accident. Where did you live, Bob? Louisville. Yep. Are you ready to go to the light? What's there? What's, what is there? You're attached to a body that doesn't belong to you. And you're causing pain to that body. It's a new body. What is it? A new body. What's that supposed to mean? Use, use it the way I please. How's that helping you being attached to her there? She's just yeah. It's just strong. So don't you think it's time for you to move along? And go where? To the light. What if they don't take me there? What did you do? I was a Klansman. Kill a few niggas. I don't know if they take me in the lot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. We we getting into the video. Okay, give me a second. I gotta process this. Let's just clear the air. Everybody take a deep breath. Just gotta make sure we're cleansing the energy. The person you just saw who's doing that reading, that is her, that, that, that is her Instagram. Today, we're gonna be talking about spirits who are talking under hypnosis. Sometimes people are experiencing certain weird surges of negative energy or unexplainable symptoms of pain, unexplainable symptoms of, you know, sensing something around you that you can't really understand. And sometimes people use hypnosis to try to get the answers through channeling. I want to say this before we go any further into the video. I don't want nobody operating off of fear. Spirits, entities, anything on the other side cannot possess you, cannot take over your body unless you allow them to. Most of the time, as you've seen in scary movies, some people are weak-minded or they will give up and they just, you know, let the spirit take over because they can't take the power or the pressure that this spirit is applying to this person's body in life. A lot of people don't know about entities or spirits 
feeding off of your energy. So when it's happening to them, they take on the form of the spirit and just accept it as their own energy. So I want to set the record straight and let you know, you cannot be possessed or harmed or anything. Your energy cannot be fed off unless you consent to it. Most of the time, they will always prey on your weaknesses. That is why it's always good to do shadow work and work on yourself. So when you're in your head and something else is trying to pierce into your head, you are very strong in there. Let's get into some other parts. Spirit of a white woman attached to a black woman to know what it feels like. She put this woman under hypnosis. And let me just, let's just hear what, what was said. I, oh yeah, I went on a deep dive down her page all the way. Kara, why didn't you go to the light? Because I wanted to have a little fun. How old were you when you lost your body, Kara? 26. How did you die? car accident where did you live miami what are, what are you looking for i wanted to see what it's like to be a black woman so if you weren't black what were you i was white so now that you've had that experience of being a black woman how do you feel about it it's accelerating you ready to go to the light now do i have to well you're attached to a body that doesn't belong to you so yeah yeah i'll go all right kara before you go is there anything you want to say Girl, to be a black woman. Tell her she got it going on to just keep going. Let me know when Cara's gone. Okay, she's gone. <sighs> it feels like the pain is going away. Wow. Listen, these are just little clips. She, I'm gonna put her YouTube channel in the description where you can see the full version. I just wanna show y'all a little bit. You know, just, just explore what's going on in the world and what's actually happening. Let's get into another one. Now this one says it's attached to this man's spine. Then the energy of mine and if someone speak directly with it. Hello there. What's up? What's your name? Malik. Malik, what are you doing there in his spine? Chilling, my neck. How long have you been there, Monique? Oh, like five years. Five years. What was right. happening with him at that time that allowed you to attach to him? Depression. It's on my way in. How did you lose your body, Malik? Suicide. How old were you? 25. Damn. Would you like me to help you go to the light now? I don't know. I like hanging out with this. He powerful. Like, even when I try to, like, overcome take him over like he'd be overpowering me but really i just be sitting here listening to this he be talking some shit and low key he the main reason why i was trying to find a light up in this motherfucker but because i mean that whole concept of hell that was the main reason why loki killed myself because i was afraid i was afraid of everything but being with this nigga man this nigga opened my eyes up a lot would you like me to help you go the life I ain't going to that light until I feel like I completely forgave myself. I had nobody in my life to talk me out of what I was doing, so... Since you've been there, how have you been affecting them? Just using his energy. Any way I can get it. Food, porn, just taking from his energy. An infinitive amount of energy here. Do y'all remember, remember the last video where I was talking about... Well, I don't know if it was the last video, but it was one of these video, these last one of these last three videos where I was talking about how the uh, white woman who was practicing voodoo on her slaves and people and her husbands and stuff like that and she ended up getting off by a, a actual voodoo priest and she now haunts that house this is a this is real stuff like people who do things in this lifetime or their lifetime that they had and they just can't let go or release the energy from that lifetime and they're literally running and hiding from the light and trying to find the most low vibing, the most strong, like, you know, people vibe, people have strong energy and strong powers, as the spirit just said, but you still would be in a low vibration. So you're emitting a very powerful low vibration because of how strong you are. So it's just like that, like there's people who run from the light and they can't let go and they attach themselves to people. So I'm just, I'm showing y'all this so I, because I want y'all to be aware and I also want y'all to see like, you know, certain things that's happening. So y'all, sometimes spirits who still carry on the energy of their past lives, which is what you just saw when they 
don't want to pass on and they connect to other people and they use people's vessels as a house. If you ever heard your kid talk about their past life or talk about what happened to them, this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. Story of a three-year-old boy who was born with a big red scar on his forehead who remembered his past life and solved his own murder. This story was told by Truth's Hardo, children who have lived before reincarnation today. This story is from his conversations from the well-known Israeli doctor Eli Lash. Because in this culture they believe in reincarnation, they formed a group of about 15 people which included Dr. Eli Lash. And then they sought out to try to solve this mystery. And they ended up going about two towns over and he remembered this is where I lived. Then he pointed out a neighboring house and said the person who lived there is the one who I got in a fight with and who killed me. Then they knocked on his door and they confronted him and his face went white. Then, a little bit later, the whole group basically coerced him into coming out into the woods to search for the location of their fight and where the kid died. So the kid leads him out into the woods and he finds this spot and he points at this pile of rocks and he says, my body is buried under these stones. So they start digging and they find the remains of a farmer with a huge split in the skull of his forehead. Then the boy takes him over to the place where his axe is buried and he points down to the ground and he said, that's where my axe was buried. They didn't have to dig long where they, then they end up finding the axe that killed him. After seeing all this, finally the neighbor ended up admitting to the murder. Oh my God. He, the kid solved his own murder from the last lifetime. We've been in this mug a couple of times. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm a firm believer in reincarnation if you didn't know. It's a whole book. It's videos. It's a whole TV show called Spirit Inside My My Child. It's, it's, it's all, all of this evidence of people remembering their past lives and these spirits who are haunting these houses. This one is about this set of sisters, 11-year-old Joanna and 6-year-old Jacqueline, who, along with their 9-year-old friend Anthony, were killed after being struck by an erratic driver on their way to church. Unfortunately, the girls died almost immediately after impact, and poor Anthony died on his way to the hospital. The erratic driver was a woman who actually did this on purpose after being forcibly removed from her own children not long before. The parents of Jacqueline and Joanna were, as you can imagine, devastated. Their mother, Florence, actually became pregnant long, not long after the girls' deaths, and their father, John, was convinced that his daughters were going to come back through this birth. He said that his wife was going to have a set of twins and they were going to be the reincarnated girls, Jacqueline and Joanna. Florence was like, yeah, right. One, they were devout Catholics. She did not believe in reincarnation at all. There was also no history of twins on either of their families. And the doctor was telling her that this was a single birth. Mm -hmm. So she didn't believe anything that her husband was saying, whatever, brushed it off. Well, nine months later, she gave birth to a set of twins, a set of twin baby girls meet Jillian and Jennifer. When the girls were just three months old, the family actually relocated to another town east of where they were currently living. And when the girls were about four years old, they moved back to the town that they were born in, the same town that Jacqueline and Joanna were killed in. When they got back to this town, Jennifer and Jillian started pointing out landmarks that they had never seen, but they were naming them off like they remembered them, including the school that Jacqueline and Joanna had gone to, as well as their favorite playground that they loved to play at. Shortly after this, they started asking Florence if they could have their toys back, back as if they owned them. And she never planned on giving these toys to them. She had them hidden away, but she did distribute them to them just like they asked. And they separated these toys and played with them as if they were Jacqueline and Joanna. They even had the same names for these toys and remembered everything about them from before. Do, do, do you see? Do you see what I'm talking about? Are you seeing do you come from the lake? No. Where are you? Her heart. How long have you been there in her heart? All her life. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Why are you there? Because nobody deserves her heart. Oh, why does anyone deserve her heart? A deal was made long time ago, way before her. What deal is this? And who made it? Great grandmother. And who their great grandmother they make this deal with? Dark. And what was the deal that was made? the dark the woman in this generation will be alone and that deal that was made was that made with you are you the dark yes did you have a uh, body at one point in time yes so i'm going to count from three to one and we're going to go back to the last time you had a body three two and one tell me what's happening i'm uh i'm in haiti i'm a voodoo priest what's your name my how do you feel there, Mario? Wicked. 
That's crazy. That is crazy. I used to try to figure out like why certain people experience certain things in their lives and sometimes it do be curses. Wow. Just to make sure y'all know, she got everybody that she's recording, they're in under like a hypnosis. So, you know, they're just flowing with what comes to their mind. I'm telling y'all, I went all the way down her because I was just so interested in what is going on in these hypnosis sessions. If y'all remember, I told y'all about a movie called The Fourth Kind. And this was actually based on a true story where this woman who was in Alaska, she's like a therapist and she does hypnosis to try to see what is causing people's trauma. And in that movie, it was, it was just something really crazy going on in, in them, them hypnosis sessions. So what I'm listening to right now is like, really blowing my mind i'm just i'm literally going down her instagram page clicking on stuff as we're as we're recording right now so yeah let's just get into this one spirit of heron addict attached to woman's stomach i want to go ahead and speak to the energy that's there in your stomach bring it up to your mind and it your lips and allow it to express itself hi there sir what's your name troy who are you who are you how do you know me don't ask me questions who told you I'm there? Who told you? Your friend there that was in the right bus. Katie told me you were there. Pink snitch. I want to talk to you. Why not? Because I don't know who you are. Because you know you're attached to someone's body that doesn't belong to you. How'd you lose your body? Drug. How old were you when you died? I don't remember. When year did you die? 69. It was 1969. Where did you live? I lived in the city, Harlem. I came back from the war, messed up, shooting up drugs. Helps to fade the memories. Dang, okay, these little clips is like, I need more, I need more. That's the, listen, I'm a firm believer that everything comes from something. So whatever this person, you know, they're blurred out the face, whatever this person is feeling, they're just really expressing what's going on inside of them. So it's not the actual soul that's talking, it's whatever is attached to the person that is talking. Yeah, this is getting crazy. This one is called spiritual gifts are passed down from generation to generation. Tapping into her inner self and she's seeing her in a kitchen with an old woman. So just listen, just listen. A whole bunch of mason jars and things and concussions and things she's just mixing together. And I just keep asking questions about my mom. And she just told me, I don't want to hear that. Come learn about what I need you to learn about. She's me. But she loved me because she, she's taking care of me. I just see pots and pans and herbs and just jars everywhere. The chimes is going. And she's just at the table and she's mixing her mix. I just want my mom. Mara, let me speak with your grandma. I want you to lend her your mind and let someone speak directly with her. Hello there. Hello. Are you Mara's grandmother? Yeah, who asked her? Someone who's trying to help her uh, before what? where Narelle's mom is what you're asking for child I don't need to know nothing my mama yeah. left with me and I'm fit to do what I need to do so you don't need to know nothing about that child there what is it that you're teaching her everything my mama taught me everything was passed down she need to know my mama ain't know nothing just left her here mama ain't want to learn nothing this child fit to know everything just like the people come to me they gonna come to her. What are the people coming to you to help them with? Everything. Sickness. When their husband ain't doing right, I steal them up something real good for that. And why didn't you teach your mom? Her mom, she ain't have it in her. I ain't got time to not teach nobody nothing. They don't want to learn nothing now. Don't keep fitting to ask me about her mama now, okay? Child don't need to hear nothing about her mama. What yeah. else she want to know? I see at the table. Wait, wait, wait. The the, the, the the voice change is real. The voice change is real. Let's go to part two. Let's go to the part two. What else you want to know? Do you enjoy the work that you do, Grandma? I love it. It was taught down to me. I had to sit there with my mama and learn these things. So she, this child here going to sit here and learn everything. I love it. It did me well. What else you want to know? She wants to know more about her mom. Hey, well, she ain't fit to know. She don't fit. She don't fit to know nothing about her. So you fit to do some things to up, upset this child here. Leave her be. She don't need to know nothing about her mama. 
when the time is right, she'll know. Where is it that you live? In the Carolinas. I ain't fitting to tell you my location. For nobody come, that don't mean this child no good. I ain't fitting to tell you my location. Let me see what Merle again. Now you fitting to, what you fitting to do with this girl? No, just. What you fitting to, to speak, do with her? Just want to speak with her to get. Unless you want to give me the other information as to what's happening there. I ain't fitting to let you come in between me and around now. Never she a that. child. She a child. Mm -hmm. If ain't nobody fitting to me, her no good. Mm -hmm. Never be to me like a mama did. Yeah, my word, I won't do that. Let me go ahead and speak with uh, Muriel. Take a deep breath in. Muriel, tell me what else is happening there with you and your grandmother. She fussing it. Mama ain't mean it. And I'm breaking people. I tried to break us up. And them people don't mean me no good. I'm sorry. What? This is a past life that you're tapping. Wait a minute. Let's go to part three. As you get into the light, you'll get to a point where someone comes to greet you. Let me know when you notice them. It's Mama. Let me speak with her. Hello there. Hey there. Ask too many questions. What's the question you got to ask right now? That life is still affecting her now in this present life? Damn sure is. He giving to everybody. And they ain't worked for nothing. They ain't done nothing for it. That's what I was trying to prep her for. Just too kind-hearted for me. She don't have no bam. She just let him come and take. She ain't learned that from me. Must have got that from her mama. She doing what she needs to do. She just needs to stop being scared of herself. What part of her body is she holding that fear? All in her gut and in her head. She even need to poop it out. She need to do something, but she need to get rid of because it, it ain't going to go nowhere. It's going to keep growing. She need to get it out of her. Can you assist her releasing that fear she's holding in her gut and her head, or would you like me to assist her with it? Well, she need it all. She need all the assistance, honey. We'll go ahead and assist her with releasing that. And once I'm done, it's okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up now. What we doing? <laughs> How are you assisting? What wait, you got going on? Why wait, are you assisting her? Wait, this is a real grandma. This is not the person. Listen, this, this is a real grandma. You can't tell me that this person is not tapping into a past life. Because, you know, as y'all know, when you're dealing with past life regressions, if you believe in reincarnation, you know that some certain experiences from your past life can seep into this life, which is causing you to have certain blockages and problems and all of that, blah, 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 blah. I've been reading this book called The Akashic Records, where you're reading into your past life and understanding more about yourself and your ancestors and all of that. So this, this kind of makes sense, especially the personality change. Like you can actually tell that this person is really like channeling her grandmother from the past life. It's like, she's like, what, what, what you, what you want to do? Like <laughs> you see it. Well, I'm a healer just like you. I just heal in a different way. What's your way? Can't help her release the fear. Show her how to do it. She does it herself, but I guide her in doing it. Who taught you? Spirit. Spirit. Study. Study. Oh. You study mm -hmm. her. Mm-hmm. You study, so you study underneath your mama, your grandmama, or somebody? They, they never tap into the gifts like that. Oh. But they work. they're very gifted as well, though. Oh, okay now, child. Now, if you say you can assist now, you I uh, hope you can now. Now, you say you know what's going now, we're going to see. Okay. Okay. So, I'll come back to you in a moment, Mama, once I'm done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really, really saw that fear you've been carrying? You know? Please, please. You just think you held that long enough. Don't you think you suffered enough? I want to know. So, let's start with your head. And place your hands over your gut. Very good. How do you feel now? Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Let me speak with my mind. All right. Did she release it all? Yeah, she's done with it. Child shouldn't be scared no more now. She should be able to walk into all our purposes. Do what for, what's, what's called for her to do. Did I pass your test as the other today? Ooh. <laughs> you did good. You did good now. You had me a little worked up, but you did good. You know your stuff. I ain't going to mess with you no more. Right. You helped my baby. Mm -hmm. You helped her. So I, I thank you. I don't do too much thinking now. Mm -hmm. I, they, they do the thinking to me, you know. But uh, you did good. You did good. And I thank you again. As you get into the light. You wow. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. It's a whole lot of information in the world out here. 
this is all I can find right now because as you, like I wasn't even gonna record today. I was just gonna like you know work on the project that I've been telling y'all about. Um, but I just really wanted to share this with y'all because this just threw me into a whole new thing. Like I really need to finish reading this book. I'm oh I'm like almost done with it. I'm on page 130. I've been saying I've been reading this book for a long and I keep stopping and coming back to it. But after seeing this, I'm going to finish reading this book. Well, let me see. How many pages? Oh, it ain't nothing but 20 pages left. Okay, I can, I'm going to finish reading this book. But yeah, y'all. Um, that was crazy. The, the Just the voice change. I really just wanted to show y'all and give y'all the information and... You know, just open your mind up to, like, reincarnation, past lives, spirits who can attach themselves to you. I really just, you know, wanted y'all to see that part of, of life. Before I go, I wanted to show y'all her YouTube channel. That is her YouTube channel that you see right there. She literally does videos where she's, you know, digging into past lives and talking about spirit of a white woman who wants to be a black woman, past life of, of a native chief, um, spirit attached to a woman's foot and, rele and refuses to go, past life feared conjured family, past life as a healer in Lumeria, I found my past life, I was hypnotized inside my past life, spirit of a miscarried child attached to its mother. Do you see, like, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. At the amount of information that I'm receiving right now. So this is her um, YouTube channel. Make sure y'all go check her out. I really appreciate. Um, if she sees this video. I really appreciate your work. The things that you're showing online. And yes please keep going. Y'all go over to her page and see what's up. I hope that y'all have a good rest of y'all day. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video with me. And you know being peeking and peeking into my interest. And seeing what's going on inside of my head. I'm going to get back to working on this project that I've been trying to get done for y'all. So I love y'all, you know, stay up, stay happy and enjoy your day because you deserve it.